The bigger mission statement of our residency is training to serve. And that's really what we want to be, is about equipping uh, students to become not just you know, really well educated, but actually knowledgeable and able to serve their future communities and really make that big impact. We see this all across the country in sort of disparities of care where people don't have access, where people are dying younger than their, their peers just because they're rural or don't have the same education. And I think that missional aspect of coming here and knowing you want to try to find a way to make a difference, that's the environment we have. That's, a, I think, what really attracts people when they see a long-term career of service. The biggest thing that stood out to me about the Hendersonville Family Medicine Program were the people. It's a small program size, about five residents per class. But the beauty of this is that you not only get to know your residents, fellow residents really well, but uh, you also get to cultivate uh, long-lasting bonds with the attendings that you see every day. The great thing about our program is we're a teaching health center. So this means we're a family medicine residency, but embedded with a federally qualified health center. So if, if someone's uninsured, you know, as, as family doctors, we, we can really meet about 90% of their needs because these are folks that uh, they don't have insurance. How are they gonna get to this subspecialist? I've gotta figure out a way to take care of them when there aren't a whole lot of other options. And so it really feels we're, we're getting to the heart of what family medicine is supposed to be and how it can really serve our community best. Working in community health, we already see a lot of vulnerable population, but at our 7th Avenue clinic, we specifically see a lot of homeless patients and uh, housing insecure. So you're getting to see more of that vulnerable population and the residents really play a part in taking care of those social determinants of health to really treat the person as a whole rather than just the medical side of things. The residents really get to help the patients navigate the system and, and get care. I definitely think Blue Ridge Health offers so many different services for the vulnerable population and then the residency program just goes in and really makes all of the services that we can provide for the vulnerable population even more important, even more um, available to the people. Um, usually in the summer times we have so many migrant farm workers coming in. We fortunately have some residents that are able to see them or even on the weekends when we're planning our clinics to go out into the fields. About 99% of the time it's just residents that are going out there with us and so many of the residents will often ask if, you know, what if I don't speak Spanish, how can I communicate with them? And fortunately, we do have interpreters on site that will help our medical staff communicate with our patients. It's a huge help to be able to have interpreters on site to help them. I think one of the uh, most important things I value in our program is the flexibility uh, for our residents as far as finding what they're passionate about, what they care about, um, and what they want to pursue, and then having the flexibility to work that into their schedules. We're small enough, just the right size to sort of work with them and be flexible to work that into their schedule. The first time I came to this area, I just fell in love. The, the natural beauty is amazing. And honestly, one of the big things I was looking for was hospital to trail time, uh, 20 minutes. I've <laughs> timed it multiple times, and that's better than most other programs you can find. But the other big thing that really brought me in was the community. I love the Hispanic population. We have 40% of my patients don't speak English, which is crazy to think about in, in rural North Carolina, but it definitely brings a diversity you wouldn't expect in a rural community. And then the people here are absolutely phenomenal. All of my attendings know me by first name, and I honestly depend on my co-residents for everything. They are a big family, and you don't get that at every program, which is a really cool part of being here. I'm really proud of where our residents end up, you know, whether it's a, a faculty role teaching the next generation of family doctors, going on to a fellowship, maybe in obstetrics, addiction medicine. You know, our residents have a broad interest and they're so equipped to do everything. And that's really the heart of what we try to equip them for is that I want you to be ready for whatever comes your way, but be able to, to find where you're really gonna be professionally happy. The collaborative and supportive environment is really important because it helps us create our own path to uh, find the niche where we belong for our future in family medicine. 
it really is that family feel because everyone just welcomes you in and wants to support you in a way I hadn't experienced elsewhere. Mm -hmm.